what everyone is seeing of Jerry Harris from the outside view from social media is a completely different person from when you actually know him. Yes, he might be charming and funny and lovable and also be engaging in sexual activity with children. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Random radio, random things that you should know. I am your host, Monica Aldana. Yes, the director and producer of the show Cheers, or Cheer, on Netflix. I don't know, I've never seen this show. Either way, there's a, a guy on my show uh, who you guys know. Uh, this, this guy right here, this Mary. Well, apparently he is a boisterous, outspoken character on my show known as Jerry, what is his name, Jerry Harris? Well, Jerry Harris has been very, very naughty. Check this out. Jerry Harris is considered a breakout star, a fan favorite on the Netflix show Cheer. He has more than a million Instagram followers, but the FBI confirms to CBS2 it conducted a court-authorized law enforcement action in Naperville, here at this house, where neighbors tell me Harris now lives. No one answered the door, but neighbors say they noticed more than six vehicles outside the house earlier where Harris's red Jeep sits parked now. USA Today is reporting the 21-year-old is being investigated for allegedly soliciting sex and explicit photos from minors. When asked about Harris, a spokesperson for Varsity Sports, one of Harris's former employers, told us they continue to cooperate with authorities in their inquiries on this matter, but wouldn't comment further. They're just going through the motions. They're tired. Since the docuseries, the Bolingbrook native who attended Wabonzi Valley High School has not only met Oprah Winfrey, but has worked alongside other big names in the entertainment industry. I reached out to Harris on Facebook. He did not respond. He has not been charged with any crime. Apparently, Jerry Harris, who actually lives in outside of Chicago in Naperville, Illinois, uh, his home was searched on Monday. Uh, the 21 year old was arrested on uh, Thursday for child pornography. One charge was of production of child pornography. The other one was having was uh, having child pornography in his possession. He is accused of soliciting pornographic videos and images of minors and soliciting sex from a 13 year old victim at cheerleading competitions. Jesus Christ. If convicted, the production of child pornography carries a sentence minimum. 15 years in prison. The FBI is conducting a court authorized law enforcement activity in the area. Uh, the criminal investigation is reportedly based on allegations brought by 14 year old twin brothers who spoke with USA Today about a pattern of harassment both online and at competitions that started when they were 13 and Harris was 19. Check this out. My first indication that there was something going on was I found a a series of text messages on Charlie's phone um, with Jerry Harris. I feel like I, I was attuned to the fact that they were friends with him, but I wasn't aware that there was something inappropriate about that relationship. That caused me to sort of delve deeper with Charlie and um, look in his Snapchat and things like that and see that there was, it was more than just text messages. Jerry would send me photos and videos of himself, send me obviously nude pictures of himself and like saying all of the things that like he like wants to like do to me and stuff like that. If I didn't like comply with her, I'd do it. He'd be like, oh, I will like block you or unadd you. And like, I don't like when people are mad at me, so I was trying to please him. He's asked me for nudes, I think maybe two or three times, and every single time I kind of I just shut him down and just said no. He said a couple weird things to me before, but it nearly wasn't to the extent that like what happened to Charlie. It was super uncomfortable for me, especially at competitions, because when I would see him, like I just really wouldn't want anything to do with him because I know what his motives would be. He would like try to be like go somewhere with me and like hook up with him, and I'd be like, no, I don't feel comfortable with that. Uh, the 
young man who I guess he cheered for Navarro State. Is that even the real guy? Navarro. Oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess it is. Navarro College in Texas. Well, Jeremiah is now gonna be going to jail for this. You know what I find interesting about this? The one thing I do find interesting about this is how often are these cases involving young men who are homosexuals always out looking for little boys? Isn't that interesting? Isn't it interesting how all of these cases, the majority of the time, it's young men looking for little boys? You know, even there, there's, there's a website I follow, it's called CC Unit. They even have a bunch of men on there who are always getting caught looking for little boys. They're homosexual men. They are, they can't find regular men their own age, so they end up trying to get little boys. Interesting. Does this mean that homosexual men are, predator, are predators on children? This is something that the Christians were trying to tell us that we shouldn't allow. We shouldn't normalize homosexuality because it could lead to stuff like this. They were also saying that these people were preying on the children. Do you guys think that's true? Tell me in the comment section. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I see women preying on little boys. I see grown heterosexual men preying on girls. I don't know if it's a gay thing, but is it more prevalent in the gay community? But you, do, you know what I do know? You know what I do see? I've done an episode on this about maps, minor attracted persons. And you know what I do see coming from this is that if we get more Jerry Harris's, more of these so-called prominent gays and prominent black men uh, who are on TV shows like this Netflix show Cheers, which I've never seen before in my life. I only heard about this when I heard about the story. You know what we're going to get? We're going to get, you ready for it? We're going to get the black community saying that it is demonizing it is detrimental to the success of and it is dare i clutch my pearls and say racist to lock up african-american men for who they love soon the african-american community will say that there's nothing wrong with 21 year old jerry hughes making sexual advances on a 14 or 13 year old maybe he's a minor attracted person and minors is who he wants to be with and to say that he can't be with them that is an infringement on his love Soon we will say that. We'll, we'll say that it's systemic, systemic racism. It's, it's systemic oppression of the African-American male by demonizing him and making it so that he can't work when we put this on his record. I cannot wait until that. That's just gonna be the, that's gonna be the nail in the coffin for anybody who's against pedophilia like me. Any of you who think that, that pedos are all over the place and maybe we should do away with them like, the, you know, the, the, the pedophile general. If I were a wealthy man, Who are you? I am the Pedo Finder General. But you killed him! He was a pedophile! By his own admission, he spent his days fiddling on the roof. This is disgraceful! Silence! Do you not yourself sing that all day long, you diddle diddle dumb? Yes, but these are the lyrics of the song. By the powers invested in me by a text vote on Sky News, I find you guilty of pedophilia. Yeah, I love that guy. So, some of you all are gonna watch this and you're gonna say, Lorenzo, this means nothing. This guy was an actor doing some acting and he got caught doing this. This means nothing. I see this as it's just the beginning of the book. It's the book opening up. Dre Hughes, for years, homosexual men have been accused of being, of demonized, of, of, of basically preying on young boys. And now we have another case of a, um, a, 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 a black man, a, a grown man preying on young boys, utilizing his position and his position of power to do what he wants. Uh, there's not a big outrage about it. Nobody is giving him the Harvey Weinstein treatment, even though his situation has, has real allegations and even proof according to the FBI but the one thing that I am gonna see from this is that if Jerry Harris protests this or if anybody protests this that's on that cheer show I guarantee you what they're gonna say is that it's systemic oppression against minor attracted persons of color to keep black men in jail so that they because because of who they love which is hurting their ability to get jobs and is creating a detrimental environment for them just wait Wait until that happens and then we can just legalize 
the dating and sexual activities of children with grown people all over the place. It's gonna happen! Just wait. This is just the beginning. The end. You guys, leave some messages in the comments section. Tell me what do you think? Do you think, no, 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 Lorenzo, you're fucking tripping. That's not what's gonna happen. Jerry Hughes is just a pervert. He's the only one. Uh, him and, wasn't that another Jerry? Oh, that was Jared from Subway. He was looking at little girls. So then you got, you got that too. Or was he looking at little boys? Was Jared looking at little boys, little girls? In the audio recordings being heard publicly for the first time, Jared Fogel discusses his sexual interest in children. I like all ages. That's the thing. I like all of them, you know? Well, what makes it different? I mean, from one age to another, why just... Well, it just depends which, who's ready for what and who, you know, who's going to give you the glance, you know what I mean? The woman talking with Fogel is Rochelle Herman Walren a former radio host who interviewed Fogel and became suspicious when she overheard him say he found middle school girls attractive. Just sharing stories and then, you know, we get a little closer and a little closer and a little closer and before you know it, you know, it's, you know, it's just, it's just our staff. And so it's not that hard to do? No, not at all. He talks about how to groom a family. He talks about how to groom the victim. He talks about all the things he does, the tricks of his trade. He, he, he just basically gives you the playbook of an evil monster. Hi, I'm Jared the Subway Guy. And this Fogel is became a household name as a pitch man for Subway, and he used his fame to establish a foundation promoting healthy lifestyles among children. In August, Fogel pleaded guilty to one count of distributing and receiving child pornography and one count of crossing state lines to engage in illicit sex with minors. He will be sentenced in November. The judge, in this case, federal judge Tanya Walton Pratt, sentencing Jared Fogel to 188 months, served concur uh, co concurrently on each count. That amounts to 15 and a half uh, uh, years in prison. That is more than the terms agreed to in the plea agreement. Again, 15 and a half years in prison for Jared Fogel, 188 months. Now, this comes in addition to what was agreed to in the plea agreement, restitution paid to the victims. 1.4 million in restitution to the victims in this case. To break that down, that's about $100,000 paid to each of the 14 victims there. Jesus, Jared. Either way, this is just the beginning. What I see is that if this, with all the push for blacks to not be guilty of anything, they've done nothing this year. The white people have just been out of control with their laws this year. The blacks have done nothing. With all of that being said, Who's to say that in the future, or not into the, into, not even in the future, in the near distant weeks or days or years, that we won't say it is wrong to lock up these men for making sexual advances at children. It is wrong to lock up black men especially because they are being systemically oppressed. You guys, leave, leave some messages in the comments section. Tell me what do you think. Jerry Harris is looking like he's going to jail. His cheer days are over. And well, he's going to go to a place where he can be the creme de la creme, the girl that he's always wanted to be. That place is called jail. It's a great place for fairies and marys. I like booty. All right, you guys, leave some messages in the comments section. I'll see you in the next installment. This is something that you needed to know. Random Radio. Yeah, boy!